Hello there, this is me, Ansh Pandey, and you are watching One India English. Today, Prime Minister Narendra Modi filed his nomination from Varanasi seat for the third time on this day, that is 14th of May. The day today marked its beginning with PM Modi performing in Ganga Aarti at the Dashashwamedh Ghat. Later on, he visited the Kal Bhairo temple to seek blessings of Bhagwan Kal Bhairo. Later on, Prime Minister Modi arrived at Collectorate's office to file his nomination. During this period, many senior leaders of the Bharti Janta Party, alliance partners and even the chief ministers were present with PM Modi, including the renowned names like Yogi Adityanath, Eknath Shinde, Chandra Babu Naidu and even OP Rajbhar. However, very few people went to the district magistrate's office with PM Modi. Among these who accompanied Prime Minister Modi to the office were UPCM Yogi Adityanath, obviously, along with four other proposals. The pictures have surfaced on social media after which people's attention was drawn towards a picture in which PM Modi was seen sitting in the nomination center with a monk sitting beside him. PM Modi was seen talking to this sage as if he had knew him for almost decades. People on the social media for obvious reasons wanted to know who is this sadhu sitting with PM Modi and why was there he specifically for Prime Minister Modi's nomination. For those who don't know, let us tell you that he is a proponent of PM Narendra Modi and his name is Pandit Ganeshwar Shastriji. He is considered as one of the biggest astrologers of India. Pandit Ganeshwar Shastriji is the man who had determined the auspicious time for the consecration of Ram Lala, that is the Pratishtha of Ram Mandir. He had also selected the auspicious timing for Ram Lala's Bhumi Puja. It is often believed that no one can beat him in the work of astrology. Pandit Ganeshwar Shastri is a Brahman and he came to Kashi from South India. His name was included among the greatest scholar and people doing classical meditation across the country. Pandit Ganeshwar Shastri also has a Shastrarth Shala in Banaras which was started by his great grandfather after coming to Kashi from South India. His students are taught Ved, Vedang and Vedan. He has spent his entire life studying the Vedas. He has not married nor even established his family. He lives his life like a sadhu and loves to stay away from worldly attachments. Pandit Ganeshwar Shastri is also honored with the Jagadguru Ramanand Charya Award. Presently, he lives on the bank of Ganga River in Ramghat area of the Kashi. It is speculated that Ganeshwar had planned today's time that it was 11.40 am of the day on the occasion of Ganga Saptami and Pushya Nakshatra to file his nomination by Prime Minister Modi. And so PM Modi was accompanied by him to file his nomination. Well, if we talk about the Banara seat, that is Varanasi specifically, this is actually a BJP's stronghold and one of its most safe seat. PM Modi is running for a third term in the row from the BJP stronghold. The party has won the seat eight times since 1991 with only one person to unseat the monopoly being RK Mishra of the Congress in 2004. On 1st of June, Banaras is going to vote in this election's seventh and final round. PM Modi's Victory margin, if we talk about it, in 2019 was almost 4.8 lakh votes, a significant increase from 3.72 lakh margin which he had five years ago, that was in 2014 when he became the Prime Minister for the first time. And so, indeed, this election will be really interesting to see how Varanasi votes this time, specifically when Ganeshwar Shastri helped Prime Minister Modi to file his nomination.